Oh. oh. Who's recording it? I am. <laughs> Little perv. Because he makes it available. <laughs> CIA. I haven't been here. Nora, where are you? Why is your picture just here? She probably went to the bathroom or she's right eating. Here at the page I'm picking my oh. nose. So <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> no, we need we need to talk about that. When the meeting starts, when we turn on the share, can everybody turn off their video, please? Because only the person doing the share should have their video on. I know it sounds weird, but I want to try that because I've been to other club meetings and you're not aware of what it is that you're doing when you're on camera. It just makes sense to turn it I, I off. I don't. I don't do anything. Ew, about Helene. Helene, this is being recorded. Ew. 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 So I have to stop Hello. it. And start Can I go viral? Right. So Jay, do we just press stop video? Is that what you want us to do? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think it's. I think it's a nice courtesy to everyone if we just stop the video while the presentation is in progress. Okay. Not like right now. Oh, okay. But once once the share stops please everybody start up your video because this is the next best thing to actually physically being with one another so we do want to see faces Hi, going rich. Down. rich we're at 6 31 so i'm going to get this meeting started i'm not going to mute all so you guys know i have the power to do so right i can just click on my keyboard alt m and everybody gets muted. I'm gonna wait for this uh, last person to enter. It might not be good if you mute me, Jay. <laughs> then I can perform my duty. So, so when do you want us to uh, turn off the camera and mute the microphone? Only time I care for that to happen is during the actual presentation so that there's no distractions from the actual shared screen. You mean when you're showing pictures? Yes, and going forward when other people are doing their presentations for 10 minutes, we should offer them the courtesy of just silencing our video. Get what I'm saying? It's just a new protocol I'd like to initiate because I've been to meetings where people don't realize that they are nodding off, picking their nose, Drinking in the oh, flesh, shoot. the bottom of the cup. The I was a double, a double pick, but my, oh. my camera off already. Wait, I wish what the my camera going, went off too. I've disappeared yet. I'm still here. Odd. I'm, I'm going to start now. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's 6 32 p.m. and the meeting will start. Thank you for making time for this VPC membership Zoom meeting on the fourth Tuesday of the month. I'm pleased to say that the special topic with photographer commentary continues to be well received by our membership and we have quite a few entries that the maker will be telling you about tonight. If you are enjoying the VPC family of photographers and the activities we partake in, please, please tell a friend VPC Valley Photo Club at gmail.com. If they email me, I'll be happy to send them more information about how to join. Valley Photo Club's founding sponsor is Valley Cultural Foundation. You can visit valleycultural.org and learn about the photo contest, which began April 1. And that actually turned out to be an April Fool's joke. Oh. It abruptly came to a halt. Technical difficulties, I tell you. It really wasn't planned to go to a halt like that. They're gonna start up once again, and I have word that the date will be May 15. Information should be present on the VPF. That's Valley, well, what is that? I don't know what that is. Valley Cultural, it should be VCF. VCF, the Valley Cultural website, beginning sometime next week, okay? So keep an eye on that because the contest sure. is worth entering. Okay. Tonight, yeah. between the number... I got a lot of noise. <laughs> Tonight, between the number one photo entries and the special topic number two entries, 
Our guest speaker will present in a pucha, Japanese word for chit chat, on a topic which all photographers should incorporate into their workflow. We have 40 photos to view tonight, 22 entries in the open category and 18 entries in the low light category, where the maker will tell us about their photo and or the process of the photograph they entered. Next month, we're going to have a special topic, and it will be pears. You can interpret that any way you want to. You want to take a picture of a pair of socks, a pair of pants, a pair of people, a pair of doves, a pear and a fruit bowl. Be my guest. It all goes. Next month's topic, pears. It will follow the same format we're going to use tonight where you speak of your special topic, what inspired you to take the photo, why you thought it was funny, why you thought it was appropriate, et cetera, et cetera. Tonight, photos receiving a score of eight, nine, and 10 will be published in the Tuesday Newsday newsletter. Please, when the first polling goes up, take a closer look at what 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3 scores actually mean. And let's try to judge these photos in that regard. This will include in the newsletter the special topic photo entries. I wish to thank Bill and Helene for their continued behind the scenes scorekeeping and assistance that they offer me before, during, and after these meetings. We will now begin with a slideshow that includes the 40 entries for tonight. In other words, you all get to see the entries before we get to see the entries. How cool is that? I think it'll give everybody an opportunity to view the entire lot and make the scoring a little bit easier because you don't necessarily in the past meetings know what was coming. Now you will. Immediately following the slideshow, Lane's going to announce the photo entries. So give me a second to get organized and let's begin. That would be this screen here. I don't know why it's not showing me that. No matter how well you plan it. Sure, that's playing. You're not seeing it, are you? Nope. Gotta let someone in here. Can you see the screen? No. I can see something red. Good. We're going. <laughs> reason I don't hear Helene? Is Helene talking? 
It looks like muted. a lot of people are muted. She's muted, Jay. Because I turned my camera off. I turned my camera off and that made me mute because it's all one thing. So now can I leave my camera on? Whatever you wish to do. A man and his dog. But you're not sharing anymore. Got it? A man and his dog? Yep, we got it. Everyone needs to come off mute so we can participate together on this. I like how both the dog and, and the person are looking at the uh, at the photographer. And I like the way that the light reflects in the in the coat of the uh, of the dog as well. I agree. The lighting is fantastic in this photograph. <coughs> And the focus is uh, the focus as in uh, the dog looking at the person right in front. That's that's really difficult to achieve with some dogs. So yeah, I, I think it's great. I, I'm really pleased with the placement or, or the angle of the shot itself. I mean, if if it was over to the right a bit, that tree could have been coming out of his head, but. It's not, and it's great. I really like it. Everybody, you need to come off of mute if you, um, so you can make comments, please. I like the way he's leaning forward. So he's in just about the same plane as the dog's face, a little, you know, not, not exactly, but closer. Yeah. That's a brilliant observation, Lloyd. It's good. Yeah. I'm wondering if there was a flash with this. I would say no, <laughs> but I could be wrong. But does anybody want to fess up? No, maybe I would say yes. The maker may decide to speak of it after we do the voting or what have you. I think I think the 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 body language uh, and the uh, the comfortable spontaneity, I think, is very nice. It does feel like it has a, a, a little bit of a fill um, bounce flash in it because he's got um, a highlight on his forehead and on his watch. Yeah, and I can see, yeah. I can see pretty, pretty definite highlights in the dog's eyes. Good observations. Excellent. I saw. Thank you. Does everyone see the polling? Take yeah. a little extra time, scroll yes. down so that you see number three at the bottom, and then scroll up so that you see that number 10 is at the top. And please read briefly what it is that they say. I'll leave the poll up for a maximum of 30 seconds in each event. I know how many people are in the meeting, so I can see how many people have voted. And I will release the poll results when I believe that we've got everybody's vote in. These votes are not present on the YouTube recording. No one will see on the YouTube recording your name that is taken away by, by, by Zoom. And no one will see the voting results. So I announced them two times, clear as day for my scorekeepers and for people watching the YouTube. I'm going to end this polling. This photo received a seven. A seven was the, re was the vote on this. And the next picture is? Oh, no, wait. You want the speaker to say something? I mean, the... Uh, it's not, it, it doesn't seem to be happening. Let's move to the next okay. photo. I'm this using picture. Lightroom for the first time to display the photos as we go. Let me see if right arrow goes to the next photo. Ah, look at that. Backyard iris. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs>
I just think the right side is a little blown out, which uh, is, is a shame because it's a beautiful photo. Just right on that, uh, the pedal that on the right. I see it. This, what do you think the maker could have done to tame that down a little bit? Uh, I would have shot at a probably either faster shutter speed or stop down the lens a little bit because, um, you know, you're always going to have that problem. I don't think um, by by lowering your highlights in in Lightroom that you're going to get it all back. I would have just underexposed it a little bit, probably. Lightroom, Lightroom has a great dodging and burning tool that you could use to tame specific areas like that. Oh yeah, but that, I think that this is, one is totally blown out. I don't think you could have gotten that back. I would well, use a diffuser when taking the picture so that the uh, the light wouldn't be as harsh uh, in the in the parts where the sun's coming down directly. Make it like a cloud and even out the exposure. What is a diffuser? We don't know. We don't know if it's totally didn't take this picture and we didn't process this picture. If it's a raw file and it was shot with a recent camera, that's definitely recoverable. Just well, my opinion. Uh, to answer the question about a diffuser, uh, a handkerchief, a hat, um, then you can also spend money and get a a uh, a diffuser that uh, opens up kind of like those dashboard uh, shadow devices that uh, keep your sun off your dashboard but they, they um, come in like, like white and it, and it basically reduces the amount of light coming in by about a third. Oh, and so cool. you get an even exposure, but you can even use on, a, on a, something like this, you can even bring a paper towel, anything that's gonna get between the sun and, uh, and the flower so that those dark spots are not so contrasty. All right, excuse me, the light spots are not so contrasting. I think, I think for me, uh, if I'm going to go out and, and try and get this kind of a picture, I have to either make the commitment of choosing flowers that are in uh, more ideal light, okay, so that I'm not fighting uh, big gaps in, um, in um, uh, f-stops in terms of highlights and medium and shadow, or the other thing is I have to be willing to plan to bring things like a diffuser, uh, a flag of some kind in order to offset them. Interesting. Those are, those are two different kinds of uh, outings. Either that or go in the morning or the late afternoon, and not worry about the sun. Right. That was late afternoon. <laughs> no, no. Um, well, it's really exciting that you uh, have this beauty in your backyard. Mine just started blooming in my front yard, and I am in awe of this plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and those little details, you know, that she's focused on, you know, I call it, it looks like it's got a hairy, hairy tongue. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to end the polling and share the results. Received a seven. This photo received a seven. I'm going to set my clock at two minutes and see how that works so we can get through the photos, but don't feel rushed by the clock. Let's just use it as a guide. Okay. Yes. Before the storm. Well, I find shooting black and white very challenging and I'd like this to just pop a little bit more. It's, it, there's too much gray uh, and I, mm. I'm not feeling the black. And that's my share, thank you. 
do do we know whether this was shot in RGB and converted, or was it actually shot as black and white? It was shot in color and converted. Okay, because uh, that's why you won't get the dark, dark blacks. And yeah. That's how, yeah. Well, I felt that if you make it too dark, you're going to lose all the detail because you can kind of see in the uh, middle left there, there's a shrub that's very dark and and the detail is kind of disappearing from that already. So the sun was doing some weird things. You can see on the right hand side where um, um, it's it's actually lit up these this uh this one plant with the flowers on it so it was the the light was pretty challenging this rich yeah it where, where is it vasquez right. rocks up on the 14. yeah yeah I like the sky too. It goes well with the with the desert, the rocks, the roughness. Yeah. <clears throat> Prepare it for clouds. Hey, Rich, was it a long exposure? Uh, oh, I didn't even see the. Uh, sorry, I didn't see the. The thing it didn't cut. Yeah, um, you can actually see the detail in the underneath the title in the left hand side is a 15 second exposure. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say because the clouds look like they're kind of moving. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I think it's an interesting picture. Yeah. So, so did you use a neutral density filter to extend your exposure? I did. I have a very five uh filter i um i don't think i have a 10 stop but i don't think i use the 10 stop but you know it was very early anyway so it was a lot easier to as you see i stopped down all the way to yeah. uh f25 anyway which probably yeah. wasn't great but um yeah and and low iso so and what time of the day was that uh sunrise okay A new. <laughs> did you tell us what that? Oh, yeah, you did. Never mind. Canoe. Yeah. Well, it's a great abstract. Yeah. Love the shadow. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And the iPhone. Yeah. We have an I iPhone. Know. How do you know? Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you. So when you bring that up, that this was shot with an iPhone, and I'm seeing that I'm showing you the titles in a little bigger print now, does anybody object to knowing that it was an iPhone? No. Oh, it's no, good. it's very interesting. Okay, yeah. good. So I'm, I, I kind of like Lightroom for this reason, so I'm going to go with that. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your opinion there. Elaine it's nice to know how it's done. Yes. I I am I am really impressed by the sharpness of the detail and the detail in the shadow. Uh, even even the tippy top where there's some splatter <coughs> of I don't know how to call it. It's kind of got a canvas look to it. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this photo. iPhone makes me wonder if I should carry around this big heavy camera. <laughs> yes, exactly. I read that the cameras makers are, their business is kind of dropping a little bit. Not true, it's dropping a lot. No. <laughs> yeah. I like the composition. Very much Beautiful. so. Mm -hmm. Would you guys call this minimalism? No. 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 Contemplative. No. 
No, they so would. it's a great abstract, but it it's uh, to me it, uh, there should be far less elements in the photo for it to be minimalism. And the score. I don't know. We can have the eight, don't we? Yep. Yep. That's an eight. Good going. Good going, maker. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Yes. Could you tell when you put the poll, uh, the voting poll up? Because I have two screens and I haven't seen the last couple. Sorry. Absolutely. I will tell you. So the poll is up now. I'm going to stop sharing the results. Look on your screen if you can find a bubble that didn't go away. Get it to go away for the next photo. We'll be good. And no problem, Rich. I, I will announce that. Thanks. Absolutely. I've sorry been studying all the photos. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry for the trouble. I, you, know, you know how serious I take it. <laughs> yes. C, D, G for me. I don't know exactly what that means, but that's your Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what C, D, G means. I'm not seeing the maker of this photo present in the, in the room right now interesting um i i would probably have shot something like this um usually tennis shoes hanging at a spot like that used to represent um that's where you could buy drugs but um i just oh, electric line yeah. sure <laughs> how do you know that <laughs> yeah how do you know that yeah <laughs> little known fact and uh it's back from our spice day. Oh, your shoes? She was undercover. <laughs> they thought the worst of you, Lynn, but I know you better. You were running undercover. Yes, I was. Thank you. Interesting I photo. A hard, hard way to um, focus on. Like, I keep wanting to look at the sneakers, but all that writing, all those tags below it kind of drawn my eye. I can't quite get a place to look. Like there's so much going on. Even the background's pretty cool. Like all of us. Right, right. There's you know. there's a lot going on, but there's nothing going on. But there's a lot there's going a lot on. Going on. Yeah. I always wish yeah. I could like have one spot to look and then other things came, but I kind of trying to look at all of it. I can't quite get a focus. I kind of like I'm trying to figure out if there's a story. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that. I, it, say I, like, I like the playfulness of it in that there's uh, seems like there's a story in it, and uh, and I and I find myself trying to figure out, you know, how all the pieces fit together. Well, if we knew what CGG stood for, maybe we'd be closer to the story. Computer something generated. I don't know. That that could have been C C CDG CDG is a luxury brand of yeah. tennis shoes, of uh, okay. sweatshirts, and things of that nature. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I uh, just looked at that. The polling, the polling is up. You see that? Yep. Thank I you. Sorry. I, I, I no, just I looked at the CDG polling. and it's a uh, model of uh, the Chuck, uh, the Converse tennis shoe. Right. Of course, CDG yeah. could also mean Converse are darn good, but I don't think so. <laughs> Dave, did you say uh -huh. the polling is on there now? This photo received a six. You know what? I didn't see the polling. Okay, let's not make an issue of the polling. We're good. Okay. I, I got okay. enough okay. votes good. to, to good. rate the photo. Uh, I will try to announce the polling going up. I will try to do a better job. I'm, I'm not Zoom. I shouldn't have done the update, huh? This is a six. I'm going to stop the sharing. We'll proceed to the next photo. Which is called Chili. Wow, I'm cold I'm looking at it. Why? Yeah, that's no, that's no, that's not far from the truth. It's chilly. Well, might be Argentina. A Chilean beans. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> very good, very good. Wow. Every that now and then you come up with one, don't you? Yeah. I am very impressed by the blues. There's so many shades of blue here. Uh, it's tack sharp. It's it's really really a nice photo. I like it. I like it too. Flats are nice. I think it's beautiful. The composition. I mean, had he moved a, a a step to the right or a step to the left, it wouldn't be the same thing. Uh, just enough water for me. Just enough sky. Well, maybe a little more sky. 
would be good, but you know what? It's just, it's good. It's, Perfect. Uh, hmm. Really good. I think the sky could be like <clears throat> a little more defined. It, it, um, I don't know what's the, the thing in in uh, Lightroom that lets you uh, dehaze. Yeah. A little a little dehaze might make it sharper, but then it might overpower the front of the picture. So maybe that's not a great idea. For me, I think it has it's it's a nice shot. It has a lot of possibilities. Probably the thing that would have made the most difference is the time of day. And you say time of day for what reason? Because I'm beginning to think a little bit of AI sky is here. I don't think that sky is producing the light on this. I just don't. No. I could I be wrong, but you know, Photoshop makes it so easy to change the sky now. Maybe he can well, make it on clouds. Well, certainly in post-processing, there's a lot you can, you can dial these pictures around so many different ways, you know what I mean? So um, uh, uh, there's still a lot of possibilities, uh, you know, in it. I think that, I think that uh, the tones probably could have had a, had smoother transitions and um, and maybe the highlights maybe wouldn't have gotten quite as hot if it, if the light was a little bit uh, 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 softer. Good point. Thank you. Good point. So the poll is up. I have my max number of votes in, so I'm going to go ahead and end the polling and share the results. And to my surprise, this received a seven. Are you surprised up or down? I am surprised it didn't get eight. I'm just surprised. It, 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 I'm just surprised. I feel like maybe you guys thought it was my photo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. it. It's not? Can we change our vote? Omar, we do. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> Is that the name of a place? It's it's Kalmar, uh, France. But I shouldn't have done that. I had another photo that I did. I didn't have the reduced. I, it's Kalmar, France. It's it's beautiful. I apologize to you, Vicky. Uh, I wasn't trying to make an example of you. This was not intentional. I really thought you wanted reduced in the naming. Uh, no, that's okay. With it. Okay, my apologies, though. No, that's a that's what I'll always remember the place. That's where Dick got uh, 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 stole his his wallet got stolen. <laughs> yeah, that's a memory. <laughs> I like the way <clears throat> this is uh, this is the picture where the the person looking at it doesn't have to say, "Gosh, it would be great if there was a boat." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there is a boat. It's moving through. It's in the right spot. It it creates a little more interest and and some movement on the on the side that otherwise wouldn't be there. And then the two fellows are you know pretty much looking at, at that. So it uh, creates some movement uh, of your eye towards the boat, which <clears throat> is kind of cool. I'm liking I'm liking very much the simple complexity of the photograph. There's people, there's cars, there's things to look for. And I'm able to take it in all at once very easily, unlike the back of that sign with the shoes on it. This I is like very well framed. The way your eye goes down the street along the houses and then circles around around back to the boat. Exactly, right? Yeah. That's what you want. I had I had I had to take a lot of time to, to get that shot. I waited. That's a very, very good photocopy of the postcard that he got at the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also nice to see the reflection of the houses in uh, in the water. It kind of keeps your yeah. eye in between the boat and the and the street. It's, yeah, yeah. I, I, you, you can't say enough things about it. You keep looking at it, you keep finding something, right? It's good beautiful. Job. It's beautiful. Good, good job. job. Good job. I like everything about it except the sky in the background. Well, maybe we'll run it through Photoshop and give it the sky in the last photo. Yeah, I, I think what you could have done, because I, I think the um, 
the design of the houses is so cool. You could almost lose the roofs and and the um, you know, the roof line and yeah. off the top, and then you'd have a really nice pattern there, and you wouldn't have the sky because yeah, I find the sky kind of jarring as well. We have an eight. We scored an eight. This will be in the newsletter. Oh, that's fun. thank you, Vicky. Okay. Thank you, Vicky. I'm gonna stop the share results now. And we're going to move to the next photo. Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that name says it all. <laughs> oh, my word. I have not seen a dragonfly that looks like that before. <laughs> it's a That's a police one. dragonfly. It, it looks like it's some kind of military. It's a black and white unit. <laughs> there you go. My 21 uh, model. Interesting. They call it fork. Those branches look like a fork. Yes, they do. It's a divining rod. <laughs> I, like how, I like how the background is very plain. So your focus is just that dragonfly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this photo. I like that you can see all the, the parts on the wings, you know, all the little veins and the little cells. I think I would have taken out those smudges up, up, up in the upper right hand side though and sure. make it a little may more point, kind of I scientific point, if you will. Lloyd may I point so people know what you're talking about this area here sure. this area here those are plants yeah. what is that area it's out of, I think it's, it's out of uh, branches or leaves oh yeah Unfortunately, we're not, we're not able to see the photographs uh, uh, in detail. It's nice, and, it's nice and clean. It's, yeah, it's, I, I, think I, like it. I think it adds a little bit to it, actually. I, I think it's, it kind of gives it more of a texture. Yeah. I yeah, so. I'm, I'm, I, I like the border that was selected. You know, yeah. I, you guys are looking at that smudge. I'm, I'm looking, this photo was presented to us with a frame. Hmm. That's that's an interesting kudos to the maker for doing that. It's a very nice selection of a frame, also. Oh, it's beautiful, the frame. Yeah, the frame is it's... exquisite, exquisite. I'm going to launch the polling. The polling is launched. You can begin your voting. Thanks. Thank you. I believe one more voter and we're all, that's it. We're all up. I'm ending the poll. This received an eight. This photo received an eight. It's yeah. going to be included in the newsletter. I'm going to look forward to seeing it again. Yeah. I'm going to stop the sharing of the results. I'm going to move on to the next photo, which is. Fork in the road. Okay, one second, which is oh. Dragonfly 2. And the reason is unknown. Let's go. Here we go. Fork in the road. Yeah, I like this. I like this one too. Oh. Yeah. That's so cool. Where's the rest group? I, I have to say, this is just makes me happy. <laughs> I like that. It would sure make a plumber happy. <laughs> It, it, it made the plumber very happy because he had to replace that. It made the owner unhappy because he had to pay for it. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. It's more like a fork under the road. It's a fork under the dirt of a, of a home. <laughs> I, I hate to live in that home. Oh, <laughs> man, that's not nice. It's the clean not out, good. exactly. That's, cool. that's okay. probably the condition of most of our pipes under our homes. Yeah, yeah. Just, just so you know, that's actually almost a hundred year old pipe. Wow. Oh. I just like how it was taken. I like how um, the uh, corners are vignetted. I just, um, yeah, I, I really like it. I like the vignette. I like the vignette. The reverse vignette works for me. That's a wonderful photo. Very expensive gear too, an iPhone. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm going to launch the poll. Thank now. you, everyone. The poll is up. Voting's in progress and finished. I'm sharing the results in the newsletter. Yay. Oh, we have an eight. This photo, this this plumbing repair received an eight. Yeah, I think. Very good. Would you use that plumber again? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me a pinch. Oh, I love this one. Oh, wow, very nice. I love this one. Love the repetition. Great texture. Oh, excellent framing. Focused. Yeah. Yeah, the, the macro of it is really clear. It's very, very clear. Great detail. Don't overwater. I love the texture. So, so, colors, so this this, this is a this is a, a a serious but stupid question. You said macro. Is this really macro, or is it just taken um uh with the you know up close and uh, with the twenty four millimeter lens? I believe it was taken. It's a close up. Technically, I believe you are correct. <laughs> So that is not macro then. I mean, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I'm just trying to understand the definition. The difference, of the difference between macro and close up. And I believe this yeah. is defined as a close up photo as opposed to a macro, simply okay. because the plane is different than if it were with a macro close macro lens. They also gotcha. dialed in at 84 millimeter. I mean, they didn't use it 24. It was a range from, uh, what is it, a 24 to 105. But they yeah. so not remodel. a macro. Why? Well, a macro is a one to one. It's a beautiful picture, and I'm again. I'm not trying to be mid nitpicky. I'm just trying to understand the differences. I I'd be curious. So why is it not a macro? Because I didn't use a macro. Okay. I mean, I guess. So. Yeah. This this is a this this is a good discussion uh, regarding for another time. Regarding micro, macro, and close up, I'm going to launch the polling and I'm going to suggest that we as a group maybe talk about micro, macro, and close up in, in another forum. Maybe we'll have uh, an ad hoc Zoom meeting in the middle just to have that conversation. I think it's one that needs to be had. Well, one sure. thing is that one thing is that we don't know how big that that plant is. It could be that it's uh, it's it is really close. It's not one to one, in my opinion. Okay. Macro is defined by one to one. Okay. Yes. This doesn't look like I don't. I haven't seen the plant in person. Yeah. But it looks less than one to one. So I'm going to say it's a close up, and I'm yeah. sticking to it. I'm going to end the polling. And it's still an outstanding picture. Exactly. Of what. It received an eight, so you get to look at it again in the newsletter. Made it again. I've shared the results, which I forgot to do. And now I'm moving and on. Wait, wait a minute. What did, that was a seven. That was a seven. Sorry. My apology. I'm going to share the results so that there's no questions asked later. It is, it is a seven. I don't know why vote? I said eight. Is that one vote, Jay? What? Was that one vote, one vote would tie it to eight? It looks like it. It's okay. 10 people scored it a seven, nine people scored it an eight. Okay. So there was no tie oh here. Goodness. I don't know why I said it was eight. I apologize. It's still a very fine photo. We just won't see it again in the newsletter. Uh, Jay, how come these aren't averaged? How come you're just taking the one that got the most votes? Is there a way of averaging them? Talk to Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Zoom talk, program, right? Talk, talk, talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
the hand of Zoom. Hummingbird stretch. Oh, I like that. Uh, Pretty cool. Oh, nice. Where's nice. the focus on that? I like it. Yeah. The detail. Yeah. The buggies are cool. Really nice. I Magic. love the detail. Look at that. Mm. Uh, and the depth of field. And I have never oh, even staring at the hummingbird, seeing that turquoise yeah. color with their breast is amazing. Hey, Jay, I have a question for you. What resolution, yeah. what resolution are these images? These, inter these images are either 4,000 on the width or 1280 on the height. No, but what is the what is the DPI? Because you could be you could be uh, uh, three thousand on the on the measure, but it could be seventy two DPI by uh, PPI. Well, that has to be better than that. I, I think I think you should, we should we should uh, uh, recommend a uh, resolution. Okay, uh, meaning the the pixels per inch, because that would that would make a huge difference in how these pictures look. Is Whatever it is, it looks good. I'm not. Uh, in dis I'm not in disagreement, but I want you to sit in my seat when you receive the photos. Yeah. Ninety percent of the photos this round were not sized for me. Okay. And DPI was the least of my concern. I just wanted yeah. to put them on an even playing field, and this group as a whole. We have quite a bit of knowledge that we share. What we haven't spoken about is DPI and why there's a requirement for 4,000 or 1280 on the height. And because it's come up right at this moment, I do want to say the reason I'm strict about it is if you go to enter a photo contest, a real one, you are going to have to follow directions in order to have your photo admitted as an entry. If they tell you 4,000 on the wide or the long side, and you do 3,999, you can be disqualified. <coughs> That's why I've chosen to be strict. The 72 DPI, the 300 DPI, I, haven't, I, don't, I don't know what to do in that area. I've accepted photos knowing that the person who's getting a score on it, that that influences them, the scoring that is, and if they catch on, they will raise the DPI. Mm -hmm. That's just my feeling. I've leveled the playing field as best as I can. And, and we, kind of, we kind of got away from the fact that this is really a peer-to-peer -peer photo sharing and praise, not so much the critique. And that's why this audience of 32 people, the majority of them are here because it's a praise. We're not looking to make corrections, we're making suggestions. And the prize is being in the newsletter. I just like how the bottom tail feathers are splayed in such a way. I've never seen their tail feathers, their tiny little tail feathers spread out like that. It's really nice. Yeah, that's cool. I think that is so cool. I'm going to end the, yeah, exactly. I'm going to end and I'm going to share and I'm going to wait for Jeff to tell me it's Gordon eight. Oh yeah. <laughs> I need someone to double check me here. This is a uh, eight. I'm going to stop to share and I'm going to catch up on our timing here. Next photo. Yeah. Could wow. you, could you not Look at that. Wow. I I'm think. Sorry. I'm sorry, Helene, could you say it again? Well, as best I can, Kukenhoff, no, Kukenhoff Garden. It's the Netherlands. Oh, it says it up there, Kukenhoff. Yeah, I, I was there. Absolutely I, never got, beautiful. I, I never got a picture like that. I was there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is something else. What? Exquisite. I missed that photo walk. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we, Deanna? I know. This is my ring, my garden. Wow. It's funny how the photos that take your breath away wind up with the launching of the poll so much faster than the ones that don't necessarily do so. So I'm going to leave this here, even without commentary, for its full allotted two minutes because this is breathtaking. So, did you already put the poll? No. 
Oh. The, um, the saturation on this one is really high and, and it works great. Right. Usually I don't care for highly saturated images, but uh, it, this uh, this works great. Yep. Kudos to like, the maker. Like a fairy tale almost. Kudos so to the maker. To great the color. In the corner there too. I don't know if you notice them. In the right hand corner, there's some people that give a little bit of size to it. Yeah. I, I noticed that. I didn't until just this very moment. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Yes, the people. <laughs> there are people right there. Those are people, but not me. <laughs> Maybe those are the Kuchenhoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? In the Netherlands. The Netherlands in Amsterdam. Yeah, definitely. Exquisite, just exquisite. You could put a boat on that river right there. <laughs> I need four more votes. For a second, since we already are, have voted, is I kind of wish that the, the voting is up. Person was one step over to the right, and so that big tree on the left was smaller, and you got more of that pink and white. That's just being nitpicky, but I think I would have liked that. I kind of like that tree where it is. Yeah. Lynn, you go there and take your own photo. I think it's true. I'm ending the polling. This received a nine, our first nine of the night. Congratulations to the maker. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Congratulations to the maker. Thank you for sharing that photo. I wish you a fantastic trip. I wished I was the one who got to travel with you that day. So, who was the, the, the author? It's me, Steve Rosenzweig. Well, nice shot, uh, Steve. Good job, Steve. Yeah, Thank you, Steve, that's great. Yes. The Kuchenhaus would be proud. L.A. Zoo resident lead bottom. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at that eye. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Is that a tumor on its uh, head there? It's not a tumor. I, I think it's, uh, I think that that uh, eagle has, was it Encelop, uh, it's, essentially it's got water in the head. Well, that's, that's its waddle, no? Isn't that That's a called? California condor, isn't it? It's a condor, <laughs> and a condor has okay, that yeah, thing sorry. on Yeah, sorry, yeah, condor, yeah, no, not the eagle. Uh, a condor has that thing on its head because right. it, it eats kill. And nature has provided to keep the kill out okay. of the eyes. Nature has provided to do what now? To keep the kill out of the condor's eyes when it's eating its single cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> like the sauce, lettuce. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, but Paul's Paul's discussion about cheeseburger goes along with the condor so having his Condiments. I can't find him to mute him, but I think it's cute. Condor mints, yeah. I muted him. It was cute. So I'm going to uh, launch the polling right now. The polling is launched. I did notice there was more commentary on what that thing is on his head and how good the photo may have been. <laughs> have a, can I have a question now that has, has everybody voted? There's one more, one more person needs to vote and I think he's ordering a hamburger. So I'm gonna let it go. Oh, I'm sorry, that's me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the polling. I did, right? Yes. 1944. Okay, I have a question about um, it's having a waffle burger. About the technique. Seven. Got a sign on it, and when you do leave, can you leave it at the back door, please? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I have a question about the cage in front. Would um, um, I mean, it's really clear, but is there a way to make the fence kind of almost go away? 
I think okay. not when when the uh, bird is so close to the fence. Thank you, Helene. If the bird was further away, you could maybe do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, for. Can you see the seven? I'm going to stop the sharing of the results. I'm going to move to the next photo. You, you could probably jump in the cage with the bird and take the picture. That'll make okay. the fence go. MD State House. And you'll be finding a, a different fence. There you go. Exactly, Lloyd. <laughs> wow, look at this place. I want to go there. Not the same sky as the Arctic photo. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's a little more blue. It looks like a Michelangelo Sistine Chapel ceiling. <clears throat> the, the person on top actually gives it some scale. Person. Oh, at the, at the door. I, well, I think yeah. that's a person at the door. Yeah, oh my goodness! Yeah, it's a person. Yeah. It's yeah. Very small. Looks like it's Christmas time too. Exactly. Yeah. That's all I saw before someone pointed out there's actually a person wearing a wreath for a hat. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> that's a wreath of Franklin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Don't bad. take your daytime job. Give me some respect, huh? <laughs> uh, oh. oh my god! Do, do we have to score the jokes too? <laughs> I am. I'm really pleased with the if it was cropped with the crop. The framing is, I mean, it's great. Excellent framing. It's it's symmetrical. It it lends itself to the photo and it makes this building so grand. It's a good angle. Excellent. Could just see is the photographer in my own mind's eye on one knee here. Is that really a 1.8 millimeter lens? It's a Samsung phone, it appears, SMG937U. That makes sense. 18 millimeter, no? No, no 1.8 millimeter. Eight. What is it? 1.8 millimeters? No, that Cell phone. Be Oh, okay. Phone. Samsung. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that, that, wide of a lens, that wide of a lens I thought would be like fisheye. It does have a little of that effect. I think we're uh, at our limit for the voting. This received an eight, as you can see. This received an eight. The Galaxy, the Galaxy S10. So it was a cell phone. It was a, Gal a Samsung Galaxy. Okay, very good. Next that's, photo. That's Mobius Ooh. Arch. Did Hi. you guys hear Mobius Arch? Oh, wow. Yes. Oh. Love the movement in the sky. Yeah. Kind of echoing the curve. And also Great the framing. level of detail of the mountains at the back. So excellent. I like that they're a different shade, a different color, also. Yeah. The blue and the orange, the blue and the browns, I mean. Yeah. Nice. Good this contrast. one's nice. Love it. Great shadow, great time of day. I like the framing of the far away mountains. Yeah, great framing. That's the money shot at the Alabama Hills. Definitely. I, I love how crisp the back mountains are and alongside this in, in the, the detail of the arch. Oh, it was a 2.8. Huh. No beside wow. Nice texture. Yeah, it's a fast Tamron lens. Yeah, the lens the lens is capable 2.8. This was shot at F14. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's how you get that depth of field. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. I'm going to launch the polling now. The polling is up.
guys voted quick. I'm going to end the polling. Sharing the results. Nine for this photo. This is only our second nine tonight. This is great. Thank you, Maker. I feel like I was there. Excellent photo. <laughs> Stopping to share, moving forward. Oh. Our great nice. elder open. No, our great elder. Forget open. <laughs> uh, very, very spiritual looking. Love the rays of the sunlight. Yes. Yeah, I really like the whole thing. Very nice. The color, the darkness. I have a, my question is, the sun's behind it, but the tree really looks so light on right. this side. I'm, I'm just curious, was that dodging or burning or something? Or a flash? It could be an opening in the trees above it on this side. See? It could be an opening of the trees and canopy. I think it's a lot of dodging, no? Yeah. On the That's other hand, I don't care how come it's light. I like, I think it all looks uh, lighted nice. It works. I think if that tree was real dark, maybe the way it should be, it wouldn't be such a good picture. I don't know if it's, if, if it's, uh, if that was done, because if you look at the other trees on this side, uh, they're also light. And look at the, the ground. Of it. I think it, it was so because <clears throat> you can actually see where they did it because the the edges of the tree are still dark and as is the very top. So I think their brush just didn't go that far. So I think it has been burned a bit. It's a it's a nice interpretation and maybe just a touch more subtle would be even Burned better. Or dodge. It's great. I always get, I always get confused. Burn I, I just call it dodge. shadows. I just, I call it increasing the shadows, which, okay. yeah, I think it's really well done. And I kind of like the actual, the, the border a little bit. I kind of makes the tree stand out a little bit more. Yeah. I'm launching the pole. Pole's launched. I actually love the sharpness of the light coming in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool um, way to block the sun and get the rays. I would be very happy if I could get a picture like that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Green shot. Right, place, right time. <laughs> One more vote, please. Uh, really need it. Okay, we're ending the polling. No, I didn't even get the polling. We're ending the polling and I'm sharing the results. And there was a tie here. So we get the nine. This is our third nine for the night. Very nice. Congratulations, Maker. Very moving photo for me for some reason. And the next picture, Santa Inez River. I'm exhausted from all this travel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. light. My legs are tired. <laughs> I like this picture. Oh, it's realistic. Like it's just like this is how it is. I think. I think shooting it at this time of day leads to not a lot of drama, light wise. I would you know, would love to have seen it a little bit later in the day when those, you know, clouds had a chance to get some color in them. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. it's in a hurry to get home. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody can wait by the side of the road. But you know what? Um, if the clouds were fuller, that tree wouldn't stand out as much. I, yeah. I love clouds, but I don't know. I think it would have masked the beauty of that tree. And do you see how the clouds are mimicking that hill on the right? I mean, yeah, almost, almost cool. detail. Where, where um, I, it's not the... everybody's cup of tea, but in my opinion, in my humble opinion, this would look great as an infrared. Uh, oh. 
normally normally in the middle of the day that's when i shoot infrared because that's when the contrast is great and because the lighting is flat the infrared effect gives it you know um more punch just my opinion fun. i'm gonna launch the polling at this moment it's launched I've got my vote. I'm sharing the results. It's received a seven. Ooh. Thank you, Maker, for sharing this photo. It's delightful. Sting O. Oh. oh, wow. Or is that Stingo? Very nice. Hey, I'm missing a hot dog. I'm missing the hot dog. Missing a hot dog? Mm -hmm. That's nice. No, I think. Okay. Uh, I can go check on that thing. Is that a close up? Oh, yeah. this one's beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna see something here real quick. Missing a wing. So this photo was upsized by me to 1280 in height. The photo was the photo was entered yeah, yeah. to okay. me as such. So again, this photo was upsized by me to be judged on a level playing field. The photo was submitted this way. I call it postage stamp. It's a little more crisp here. So we're going to judge this photo or this photo. You tell me. I'll judge it as submitted. No, it's sharper. I'm it's going to judge it as submitted. I just want you to know that we really need to pay attention to sizing. I don't know how to size. That's my unfortunate. Oh, that's okay that you don't know how to size. I appreciate that. Let's not bring a photo into the entry if it's under 1400 in its width or under 1280 in its height because we want a level playing field. All of them are being delivered to me that way or being sized that way. So when this was upsized, it lost its crisp. Uh -huh. yeah. When it's as submitted, it is much sharper. So fuzzy, I wanna pet it. Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> this is in my opinion, macro because it is one-to-one -one as I'm seeing it. Yes. It's a delightful yes. photo. I think the crop was done very well. I have difficulty cropping my insects on flowers and I like this. I like the little thread of a spider's web mm -hmm. there in the lower. Do you see that here? Yes, absolutely. I like that. Yes. It's, hey, Jay. it's, a, pole, it's a pole that is it, it, launched now. If if it was upsized on upon entry, you would still lose that uh, sharpness you're talking about, regardless of whether you did it or the photographer did it, right? Or am I, am I missing something? Yes, yes, that is true. But the photographer had a lot more control in whatever they did. I mean, for all I know, this is a you know very small crop of a very large photo. And yeah maybe only 16 megapixel to begin with. And if it was taken with the Leica at 46 megapixel, it wouldn't have mattered. It's just, this is a postage stamp and it, it in competition, in competition, this wouldn't be allowed as an entry. And it's a shame because this is a really good entry, just not sized right. I have one That's word beautiful. to say, gigapixel. Yeah, I need that, huh? Huh? I need that. Don't I? You're going to sell me on that, Helene. I'm going to end the polling. Giga, giga oh, you're going to start amazing. the poll. AI. And, huh? it, and it does more than just upsize. Received an eight. Okay. Yay! Okay. Yay! Thank you. It's a likable photo. Thank Thank very much. I didn't, I didn't mean to be Debbie Downer here. No, no, no. You can help me size things. Absolutely. Uh, we know. Sunrise at the basin. 
This one is beautiful. beautiful. I the love detail, that. The detail in those wings is amazing to me. And I like and the show's feet. movement. It's Look not totally little, sharp. The little feetsies. I love the little feet. It's great. They're a great like band. The oh, feet. Landing gear is too. Out of 10. It's got the light in his eyes. And, yeah, and, such, and such beautiful handwriting. <laughs> it is. It is. For a man. For a man, exactly. Like Jay, a man did you say feet or feces? I said feet. <laughs> I said feces. Feces, not feces, an feces right? That's plural. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bringing that to our wanna, attention, Izzy. Just want to clarify. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Mm. Boy, you can see some of the uh, the little bud gunk on its beak. Yeah. But that's all part of it. Yeah, yeah. And the beautiful flowers. That's really nice. And the bouquet in the back. Oh, there are flowers. The bouquet in the back. Yeah, beautiful. The green and the orange. And the orange. Oh, my I goodness. think this hummingbird was posing. Yes. <laughs> pose there. Pose there. Paid him. <laughs> Lovely. Man. I've launched the polling. So yeah. you can have a bouquet with F stop yeah, six point three. Oh my god, that didn't take any time at all. I should make you guys wait. I can't believe you guys gave it a four. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> what's our ten? We've got our first ten. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. wow. Got a four. <laughs> this received a ten. Wow. Wow. Very good. Maybe my hummingbird might receive a ten. Very deserving, <clears throat> in my opinion. Excellent job. Beautiful photo. Beautiful photo. So uh, somebody asked about uh, getting bouquet at uh, six point three. Yes. That, so, um, yeah, it's not really a measure uh, like a pure number. It's really the uh, the distance of how far the background is from the subject. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, this picture. It really worked. Called, this picture is called the artist ink. I'll start the clock on it again. There, done that. <laughs> Great, great subject matter, and it, it just might be my screen, but it looks a little dark to me. Mm -hmm. Like the person with the headphones getting the tat just yeah, really looks I, dark. I'm having trouble with the blacks. But it's a great subject. I, I, I love it. And the guy standing or is he's, he's walking out of the room, it, it makes me wonder, like, is there something wrong, like with the person? Like, oh no, we better go call an ambulance. <laughs> Oh, my God. You, I mean, look I at the, look at I the. I don't take that read on it. I don't take that read on it. it it's. I love the cross you, that's right in the center. I like the drama of it, though. Yeah. I mean, it has, yeah, it has a very dramatic. Kind of uh, cheeky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that joke. I mean, what were you going to rate that joke? <laughs> I mean, you could, you could, you could, you could see the. You, you could see the tats on his elbow, the guy giving the tattoo on his neck. I can't tell if he's smoking a cigarette while yeah. he's doing it. I, th I think he is. Uh, uh, oh, a toothpick. And then a Maybe. reflection of the mirror. I, 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 again, I, I, I think it's just a little too dark, but it's a great picture. It's a good storytelling picture. Yeah. yeah. I hope the guy was happy with his hat, too. <laughs> Got two people joining the room. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. I'm going to uh, allow this poll to stay up. You guys are seeing it, right? I'm going to allow it to stay up another couple. I don't minutes. see it. No. Let's, let's, I, I need two more votes actually because I, you know, I okay, the, 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 the poll was not up very long. Did you repost it? No, the poll is up right now. I don't, I don't see it. Can't see a thing. I don't see anything. 
I'm going to end the poll. Everybody clear your screen. I'm going to relaunch the poll right now. See if you got it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll try again. I got it. I got it. Yep. To do? I, have, I, I need two more votes. One more. I hope the guy laying down on the um, bed there isn't the ticklish. Has ended. I'm sharing the results. It's seven. What about the guy laying down? What? I just hope he's not ticklish because then if, if he's getting tatted, then that guy's going to jerk and then we're going to have a bad tattoo. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the burrito we had for lunch. <laughs> oh. Oh. This received a seven. Oh. Joke a two. That's right up there with the feeties on the on the hummingbird, Jay. I like feeties. Ooh. Wow. Temple. That's beautiful. Something like that. Where oh. where is this temple now? Ben Hau. Ben Hau. Ben Hau. Well, okay. Would you look at, would you look at that? Would you look at that water and the reflection in it? It's beautiful. Wow. That's really nice. And there's a person there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. To, to give it scale. <laughs> it happens to be a photographer. Wide yeah. angle, yeah. Where did and, you say that the, the temple was? That is fantastic. It's, there's it's a street the, above Ord Street. Ord Street turns into another street. Is it cross? Oh, it's Yale. It's Yale Street. It's in Los Angeles. Oh, that's it. Los Angeles. Wow. Los, Los Angeles. I love. I love that there's an American flag there. Yeah. I can't believe it. Beautiful color, beautiful that sort of down, down downtown is right, Bill. Uh, yeah. I've never I seen. I know where that is. Yeah, see. And beautiful picture. I think I the wide angle is perfect for it because then yeah. it encompasses the whole front. That was a seven and a half millimeter lens. Look at the difference of, wow. the, lighting, of wow. the lighting on the left and the lighting on the right and the composition. Everything is just exquisitely done Kudos yeah to the photographer what camera did you take it with i've got to know <laughs> uh that's a fujifilm uh ex3 or xe3 excuse me launched oh, great fantastic thank you of everything from the color to the uh, it's from top to bottom. It's really yin yang, this um, picture with the light on the one side and the darker on the other side. It's, it's like perfect. One more vote, please. I shouldn't have to ask. I'm ending the polling. I'm sharing the results. This received a nine. Okay. Well worth it. Oh, I, I went 10. <laughs> <laughs> Next photo and our last photo for this section, I believe. Am I right? Yes. The last photo for the number one entries is this photo here. Wood duck. Oh, wow. What a great eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, on the duck. L literally and figuratively, right? So I'm curious, and I'm maybe the only one that's going to ask this question, but the eye is very red here. But it's not in a reflection. I'm smoking dope. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? It's red in the reflection. It's the whole reflection is it. it's muted. It's almost a yellow reflection. Yeah. Well, I'm just, mean, Jay. No, it's red in there, but it's very pale. You can barely see it. And then the yellow is just part of his beak. Okay. Okay. I really like the what the mirror of the water here. It's, it looks like a melting mirror. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Was I'm glad the duck got his hair done right before the picture. What the duck? Oh, yeah. It's all slicked back. He's, he's using yeah. a brill, brill cream or whatever they use. Come on, somebody let me know who took this picture. Oh my God, you just brought me back like 30 years to brill cream. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the hair for it now. He's got a duck tail. Ah. Lynn, you need to get closer to the microphone. I'm going to launch the polling. Hey. 
You should see the polling. There we go. That's now everybody's voting. I'm going to end the poll. Share the results. We have an eight, a newsletter contender. Whack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eights. One, two, three, three nines. Four nines. And 110 for this round. Congratulations to you guys. And all the photos were very, very entertaining and enjoyable to look at. Thank you. I'm going to stop the screen share. I hope you guys will take a moment to just talk amongst yourselves while I prepare for the other things that I need to do for our presenter today. Did I stop the screen share? Yes. No. Did we do the uh, low light yet? No, we're going to no. do those after the presentation. Okay. In the low light, you guys will be, uh, you guys will be uh, comment, commentary or uncommentary. Uh, Something. Verbal. <laughs> You'll be verbal. I can't hear you, Lynn. You'll be verbal. There you go. Versus being a gerbil. Exactly. You funny girl. You very <laughs> funny girl. You're a silly goose. <laughs> Everybody, I, I love. I can't recommend them. highly enough um, uh, Gigapixel. That thing. It not only, you know, it's it's meant to blow pictures up and maintain quality, but it takes kind of you know crap photos. And it really improves them. Uh, JPEG artifacting, at artifacting, um, brightness contrast. Uh, I get a lot of photos from. Uh, I get a lot of uh, photos from cu uh, customers that are completely crap, and uh, this makes them. Uh, I mean, really highly print quality. <coughs> so you're, really, you're, you're telling me you like that program. I love that program. Do you have to pay for it? I mean, is it a free app or anything? On uh, the no, it's a, nor, normally it's $99. Sometimes you can pick it up on sale for $79. It's called Gigapixel? Topaz, Topaz. Topaz Labs Gigapixel. Oh, yeah. Hey, now, yeah. From yeah. Kudos yes. to the person that recommended it to you. I know. I know you are. <laughs> Wasn't uh, isn't uh, Photoshop, I think, right now able to do the same thing? Uh, not and raw, not not as good. I mean, I, I think it was uh, that the newest uh, version right now is being able to blow it up to you know billboard size. You know, at, at it does it probably decently, um, but uh, it won't take care of uh, some of the things like uh, uh, like JPEG artifacting and uh, I mean some other enhancements. I will definitely look at that. Yeah, and Our you're paying a hell of a lot more for Photoshop. Is True. the screen being shared? Yes. yes with Our. Our presentation tonight is brought to you by yours truly. This presentation is called Epechakucha, Japanese for chit chat. There are 20 slides. Each slide will play for 20 seconds. And I timed my soundtrack to go with this, so you only have to hear me for seven minutes. <laughs> Please enjoy. Thank you. My Pecha Kucha topic for tonight will be on incorporating file backup into the photographer's workflow. I will discuss the difference between image backup and file backup. I will share with you the 3 to 1 principle on file backup. File and folder backup 
will back up each file on your PC. This is good when you need to recover a deleted file or a previous version of a file. This method will not work well for you if you want to do a full system restore. Most file backup methods will save photos and documents, but this method will not back up the applications that created these files. Image backups are just what the name implies, an image of your entire operating system, which includes files, executable programs, applications, and operating system configurations. Image backup solutions will create a full image of the hard drive, often using an automated method once set up. With an image backup, you can restore a single file, a folder, or many folders, or entire disk to the same or another computer. You can back up to different on-site or off-site devices, such as an external USB drive or a network attached drive. Some imaging backup software allows data encryption for when you store an image in the cloud and you're concerned about privacy or need to meet a compliance requirement. As photographers, backing up our photos should be a big part of our workflow. Using a 3 one backup strategy means that you have a total of three copies of your files, two of which are local, but on different devices. One more copy is kept off-site, or at the very least, geographically diverse to an extent. A RAID device, which includes the Drobo, Synology, QNAP, and the like, are not a backup when standing by themselves. These devices are made up of two or more drives housed in the same chassis. There is redundancy by way of design, which allows one or more of the drives to fail without any data loss. This is not an end all backup solution by itself. Now let's talk about your files. Your first copy is the file on your computer, on your everyday drive. Your second copy of the file should be on a different device than the first copy is kept. Just remember, this second copy of your file exists to protect you from a hardware failure. This can be a drive failure or a failure of your computer or a failure of the enclosure in which the second drive is installed. Can you say ransomware? In simplest form, you need to place a first copy of your file on your computer and a second copy onto an external drive of some sort. Using this external drive, which is connected to the computer by USB, but it could also be a network attached to storage using Ethernet or Wi-Fi for access. Once you have your two local locations, you need to make a decision as to how you are going to ensure that you have your files from drive one backed up onto drive two. This is where software comes in to play. And there are some great ones. Many are free to use. SyncBack and EaseUS Total Backup are available for free. Then there are paid solutions such as Acronis True Image. SyncBack will perform a file backup. EaseUS Total Backup can do both a file backup and a system image backup. There are several ways to ensure that you have an offsite copy of your files to comply with the final part of the 321 strategy I'm talking about. The most common way is to use a cloud storage service such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or Backblaze. There are so many cloud services that I can't get into naming all of them. Blackblaze is a favorite at $60 a year which with you have granular control of your cloud storage. Oh, you can like it. It's going to come a whole lot more. They, oh, I can go the other room. As to the amount of data that yes. the consumer backblaze subscription is open ended, I believe. Let's do a typical example of a three to one backup method that a photographer would follow. Let's say a photographer uses Lightroom to download the photos from the memory card onto his internal hard drive of his computer. Once the download has been completed, that photographer will copy the folder of 
full of photos manually onto an external USB drive. The same photographer will use black base to create a cloud backup of the entire contents of his computer's internal drive. This is a three, two, one backup strategy. The photos eventually exist in three places, internal drive, external drive, and on the back blaze cloud. The photos are in two different local devices, internal computer drive and external USB drive. The third copy is offsite in the back blaze cloud. I hope to shed some light on something that I feel very strongly about, preserving your data and incorporating backup procedure in your photographer's workflow. Thank you for listening. Yay. Yay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well spoken. It's really good. Yeah, I recorded that on my iPhone, sent it to myself in an email, and merged it together in photos on Windows 10 to make it a presentation. Wow. wow. Technology, awesome. right? Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Did you back it up? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> He, he did on a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine. That's right. Oh. When you, a a, a four-track player. Yeah, when well, people can... probably know this, but if you have an Amazon account, you can store as many photos as you want for free up in the Amazon cloud and using Amazon Photos. You know what I heard about that? that I think they I sell think... it to other people, though. I, I was going to tell you that, yeah. Artificial uh, intelligence on Amazon Photos is used to identify faces and to identify all other photos. We just had a glitch here. Was that a solar flare? What did you say, Jay? They use it to identify faces and what else? Faces and all other objects in your photos. For example, yeah. the difference yeah. between a gorilla and say a chimpanzee, their, their artificial right. intelligence is being taught to recognize things. And yeah. not the problem, just that you are a part of the experiment. Are we ready for our number two entries? Bill? Well, can we finish telling you thank you? That was a great presentation. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you for thanking me. I'm glad you liked thank it. You. Thank you. Backing up is yeah. so important, Jay. Thank you. I could, I, I, Rich was my uh, inspiration. I just don't have his voice. <laughs> I really, really respect what you do, Rich. Oh, thanks. Uh, Bill, your photo's up first. Okay. I'm going to start to share. Oh, so I don't have to read them anymore, huh? No, you do. You do. Well, actually, yeah, you do. Okay. Are we sharing? Roche de los Huertos. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, right. That's great. Two <laughs> low light photo. Nope, that's not right either. Yes, it is. This yes. is a low light photo. Low light photo. Okay. Low light photo. Oh, yeah, I get it. So I have oh, never no. had. Yay. I have never had Come so here. many private emails and direct messages regarding a special topic, and none <laughs> of you got it. This is low light. <laughs> it's yeah, also I watching. I like it's, that. It's that's the funny. bending of light too. That's like a. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. also stock. It's also a stock photo you stole. Shame on you. <gasps> well, he's giving them credit. Okay. Now, Noche de los Muertos. Bill, let's hear it. You got three minutes. Okay. Uh, I hope I can fill up uh, one minute. Anyway, uh, this is a Day of the Dead or, or a Dia de los Muertos um, at night. And uh, I got thinking that, you know, I got back at, in the uh, shadows and found a nice uh, tombstone thing and, uh, and took this picture, trying to get a little bit of the action in the background. I, I don't think I did that as well as I wanted to, but it, it, uh, it definitely fills this topic, I think. How, how long did you um, have the shutter open? I have no idea at this point. Do you I, know I, where I this is? Yeah, it's the Hollywood Forever uh, Cemetery. 
I have never been there, and you know, I I just need to go there. That's a good place. Was well yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you do. Absolutely. I like this. Yeah. They also show movies at night there. Believe it or not. Yeah, my. Oh, in the yeah, summer, kids, I bet. My, yeah, my kids used to do that on on the weekends. They would show uh, all kinds of movies, and the place would be packed. You have to get your tickets far in advance. Yeah, it's it's a lot different than you think of a cemetery, at least that you know that I do. Yeah, but uh, definitely go there for for Day of the Dead. It's it's very much worth it. Hey. Go in the day and then go at night later. And and, hey, and Joey Ramon and Joey Ramon's uh, grave grave site is there. How how much workers yeah. can I get right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Deanna, I've taken many visitors to LA to that that uh, place. Okay, I'm I'm your next visitor. Is this okay? On I wouldn't mind. Bill, is this on um, Van Ness and Sunset? No, I don't know. So Santa, 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 Santa Monica, Santa Santa Monica Boulevard near either Western or Vermont, somewhere in that area. Google in, it in Hollywood. Okay. Thank you. Ask the Google lady. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a lady. <laughs> seven. This photo received a seven. Is it strange to like to go and take pictures in the cemetery? No. Yeah, no. A lot of people do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This I guess is, this is uh, me. Returned. Um, oh, let me, I'm glad I can see the camera. So it was with my camera. I thought it was with my mobile phone. So um, I like going out at Halloween um, and seeing if I can take good pictures. And it's often kind of hard to do for me because I'm not an expert at low light or in the dark and, uh, you know, flash kind of makes it difficult to do too. So um but I think this was lit by the um, street light. And I asked this person, oh, can I please take your picture? You know, and um, I thought of, of the night or of the Halloween night that it was, I guess it was 2019. Um, I just found it was, a, it was a good photo. It came out the way I wanted it to. So I was happy with it. And I'm I'm thinking about getting my hair colored that color orange. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I yeah, I just um I I like to do kind of like if you go to the um Ren Fair and just excuse me, can I take your photo, you know, and see what, what comes out at the end of the night. Oh, we never say excuse me, we just do it. Oh, hey, you just, want want to just push them over there and say Okay, I'm, I'm taking your picture now. Thank you. Bye. We ask for forgiveness. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and $5 if they want a copy. Exactly. Right? See, I can be a right? It, it, it really almost looks posed. I mean, it's a great shot, I think. You know, and uh, there's some place in uptown uh, Los Angeles, and I don't get out there very much, but um, they're starting back up. It's kind of a flash mob in a way that uh, people get together and um, basically they are, uh, you know, people come in costume if they want. And then there's a whole bunch of photographers. You can bring your mobile phone, you know, to, to do it. And just, it, it's a great meeting and it's just bizarre that people come with, you know, um, flames and, and just all kinds of things. and. Um, it's just a chance meeting and it's, you know, you got to see what happens. Meet. It's a street meet. What's that? It's a lot of fun. It's a street meet. There are lots of yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Well, um, it's on Instagram. It, it, it changes. The site changes. It's just like uh, the, the organizer kind of says, okay, we're going to meet under this bridge and, uh, you know, come on ahead and see if you can come, you know, come in costume just be nice to each other. It's kind of the basic rule. Yeah, it's Street Meet LA on Instagram. It's uh, it's great. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to try that oh, cool. one because I think it's yeah. a different one. But, but be aware There's they're very one. often broken up by police. Yeah. Which is well, it does get fun. a little rowdy sometimes, but. <laughs> we have There's, a, there's another one. Score. There's a, Thank you, guys. 
There's a street meet this Friday. It's a different one called Art and Chill. Okay. Like this, like this, yeah. Fire. What was the other one? Did the score on the on the other one? It's an eight. Street meet LA. Eight. That was an eight. Our art and art and chill. I think you said it was. And then there's yeah. Tifty, Tifty as well. I think that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Th it's called Thanks for the Invite. Um, they're all on Instagram. Oh, okay. okay. Alan, you get to talk at your picture. Can we focus? And this is my picture. Um, this was actually taken at a street meet meetup. Um, and it's really cool because during the day they have models with different themes. And then when the sun goes down, they do fire, they do smoke bombs, and uh, it's just really cool to go out and shoot all these different uh, performers. Um, I particularly love uh, shooting fire and um, light painting and things like that. So um, I particularly enjoyed this particular movie. Street Meet, huh? Okay. Street Meet LA. Okay. I'm gonna launch the polling. And I'm I have a to... I have a question for you. Um, I was talking to uh, my friend that goes to these uh, street meets. Um, how do you meet her? How do you meet her that before the flame goes off? I I don't even remember what my settings were, and actually I lost um, this set of pictures. This is actually a grab from one of my Facebook posts. So I don't even remember what my settings were, but um, I imagine it's just a lot of adjustments because yes, the um, brightness will change every second. So it's a challenge. Um, and that's why I like it is, is the challenge of it. Seven, yeah. seven. I mean, right, right before he blows the flame, I imagine it's pitch dark. So right. uh, you kind of have to, uh, uh, gas, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Did you get to seven? Got to seven. And the next picture is called low light entry. Oh. Yeah, that, hey, that's my entry, and I, I talked with Jay about this because I my understanding of low light is that the low light has to be a component, and I'm not sure this qualifies, but. I took this after sunset and it was almost dark. It was in Point Reyes in February, this last February. And there was a lot of wind. And I actually took it from the driver's seat of a car through the passenger window. And it was there you go. <laughs> wow. the top was sitting on a post with my foot on the brake, really high wind. And I got three shots off. He was about to take off. And I could, I have, you know, a lot of pixels on my camera. So you have to shoot kind of fast or, or there'll be some blur. And so I, I uh, anyway, I got three shots off. He was about, I liked something about it. I just liked the way he, he looked, you know, in the wind and so on. I have two other pictures. Looks One very pictures. determined. Yeah, he's about to go. And and there's actually elk in the background. It was, this is Point Reyes. I don't know if you guys know where that is. I live up there, but- Out I, I'm of your car long. window? Yes, Pat, on the, Pat in the driver's seat, <laughs> leaning, foot on the brake, High wind, moisture in the air, pointing rays through the passenger window, and he's on a post maybe six Hello? feet away from the car. Uh, well, what do I like better, the story or the picture? <laughs> but I'm trying to cover for the non low light qualification. I love, no, but, no, I love the story, and I do believe that ISO 640 qualifies as low light, and it's a spectacular picture, and I'm glad I talked you into uh, submitting yeah. it. And that, actually, that is amazing. And I, I love have, your technique, Eric. Pardon me? I love your technique. I used it today. <laughs> and ah. It's just awesome. <laughs> Thanks that out the window? Yeah, out the window. Out yeah. the window. Yeah, that's a good way to go. Uh, <laughs> I, I, my out the window picture will look like the wind, you know, just all blurry. <laughs> Rock just well, makes perfect. <laughs> I like I actually, the the purple and the blue. How it just yeah. kind of is that umbra? Is that what you would say? Uh, I you know what I'm, I need to learn more about the pro editing and processing. I just fool, oh. push fooled around with it, and and this is what happened. Kinda. It's beautiful. Yeah, fool. We have an eight. This received an eight. I want to make sure my scorekeepers know yeah. that. Good. Thank is that you. is this called Tweety Bird? 
Uh, He's, he would have Tweety Bird for breakfast. Okay, this picture <laughs> is Istanbul's underground cistern. And it happens to be my picture. Very cool. Uh, oh, we're going to listen wow. for three yeah, minutes. Very cool. Oh, shut up, Jay. Um, I stayed with some people after our tour of Greece and a little bit of Turkey. We stayed an extra day, and this is one of the reasons we stayed. It was almost totally dark in there. There were lights, but it's so big that the lights, you know, sometimes you can hardly see. And I have, uh, I took it with the camera before mine. I have a, a, a bridge camera. Uh, I have an SX-60. I had an SX-50 for one year and then it was recalled. Uh, but I, I took this picture with it. And they say that these cameras do not do well in low light. Uh, you can't put it on a very high ISO because you get too much noise. But I did this handheld F4 for one fourth of a second and ISO 1600. So yeah, you can take pictures in low light. You now, sure showed saying, us. Huh? You sure demonstrated a good job in low light there. Yeah, uh, that's, a yeah. Oh, that's a great shot. Right. Huh? The focus is great too. I like the subject too. I like, uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for these kind of tunnels or, you know. Yeah, it, you know, the bottom all over is water because that's oh, wow. what a cistern is all about. Yeah, they yeah. Find, I, I that remember correctly, got there. That looks great. We walked on like uh, wooden uh, walkways and it was damp and dark. It was cool. That is cool. Oh man, I have to go there one day. Yep. And then I'm end the polling. Into it. And with the polling ending now, I'll share the results. This received an eight. And people, I'm I'm using three minutes as a guide, but we don't want to be here till 11 o'clock at night. So what I'm doing is I'm gauging the talk. And when the uh, maker of the photo finishes, I put up the poll. That doesn't mean you should stop talking, but let's vote and let's keep going. Thank you so much. And the next picture doesn't have a title for me to read. Uh, that's mine. This is Jason. Oh, Jason. Uh, yeah, I don't normally title my photos. Uh, street photos, I like the, uh, the viewer to kind of interpret what's going on. So this one, uh, super low light. This is on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> and uh, Hollywood Boulevard and it was really dark. And I got lucky because normally uh, when it's that dark, you know, the camera can't focus. These two women came walking down the street and uh, I was with uh, two or three other people and it was so dark and there was nobody around that we just uh, were talking photography and kind of goofing off. And then these two women came walking down and I didn't even have to crop this photo. Um, this is the, uh, I originally sent Jay the original also, um, but I, I caught this and uh, framed it uh, in a split second. So the only thing I had to do was, uh, you know, uh, try to tone down the uh, highlights in the uh, picture window. Uh, and uh, that's, I believe that's the old Fredericks of Hollywood that was uh, on Hollywood Boulevard. And, uh, and then I had to bring out, uh, uh, dodge, the, uh, dodge the women to bring them out a little bit more. But with uh, street photography, I'm normally going for uh, emotions. And so I, I love the way that the, uh, the friend is uh, gripping her hand and, and uh, kind of reassuring her. Um, yeah. And you can tell, you can yeah. tell uh, her friend had a little too much to drink. Or. <laughs> so these two women got in your way of the lingerie shot, Fredericks of Hollywood, right? <laughs> I was I was Christmas shopping. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I think yeah, the one woman is back. the one woman is telling the other, "You can buy this outfit. It, it's going to work." Yeah. <laughs> It'll look nice on you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great, Jason. I like it. Great story. I don't know if you guys know Hollywood. Um, that Frederick of Hollywood uh, closed down and became uh, became the Museum of Broken Relationships. Yeah, that, that's that's right on the corner there, right? Jason, you received an eight. My score. Yay. Is, no, this is an eight. Yep. And the next picture. Can I say it? Oh, bronze with silhouette. Oh, wow. That's like, that's like let's alien. Be sure not, not, let's be sure not to give it more than a seven so it can't make the uh, news uh, 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 even, I just, even. I just want to hear you say Franz with silhouettes over and over in your head. <laughs> Franz, Franz with Franz. Friends with it's like out of young Frankenstein. What a long yeah, Frankenstein right? Super. Frankenstein. The, the, it's like the last thing you see. Be, you know, you're laying down. And, and so I have no real story with this picture. I took it in the evening. I have no recollection of where I took it. Well, not in the evening. It was the sun was setting, and I just liked the silhouette. And yeah, it's nice. For the life but, was me, it in I, black and white, Jay? Was it no, actually, this is this is in color. Wow. This wow. is actually cool. in color. Uh, no kidding. It's, How did you manage to, to get the color that way if it was sunset? Well, you see how, how high the sun is. The sun mm -hmm. was behind these cacti. <laughs> I said that on purpose, okay, Dorota? These yeah, I, I got that. I got these that. cactuses. No, the sun was behind the cactuses, kind of a hazy, you see the cloud? It's, mm -hmm. a very, it's a very, very light layer of cloud that the sun is shining through. And then there are more robust clouds below that. There's some blue sky there down in the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if you see that. Mm -hmm. and, and it just, it, it was one of those photographs that truly caught my peripheral vision. And I had the camera and the camera was ready. And here's the trick. I had my circular polarizer on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So low light. I always better with mine on. I didn't hear that. I, I said, I always look better with my circular polarizer on. There you go. There you go. This may be sound naive. What, is, what does a circular polarizer do? Stops you down one stop at least. It allows you to take the reflections off of shop windows. It allows you to bring out the blue in the sky. It, uh, it cuts the polarized light. Mm. Is that correct, Lloyd? Hmm. Yep. It's, it's like wearing polarized sunglasses right. and um, it, it it's uh, works best when it's 90 degrees away from the sun. It like reduces glare, right? Yeah. Yes. I really like the picture. It almost looks like octopi or spiders crawling. Or, Thank you. It, or it day of really the, they're or coming the, to get you. Right. Day of the Triffids, if anybody's on the There you right. go. Yeah. Frankly, during post, I had the option to darken the sky even more than I chose to as an end result. And you would not have seen the clouds. I'm going to end great. rolling. Thank you for your generosity. I get to be in the newsletter. Oh, no. So, what was the score? So, uh, Jay, uh, mm, lots of nines. Too. Jay, Thank was you. the uh, circular polarizer a uh, a choice, or did it just happen to be on the camera? It was my choice for the day. I shot all day with it. Oh, okay. Ooh. This is called silhouette. Oh. Okay. Where's yeah. Jim? That's uh. That's just kind of a grab shot I took uh, when we were on a trip over by the ocean. Uh, taken with, uh, you probably don't remember, I think that was with with black and white film. Although I, you know, it must have been color. I, I take that back. It, it was uh, probably Kodachrome, which I scanned. Just a grab shot. 
the good it's moment that you yeah. captured here. Yeah. yeah, I I I like that I like that bird on top of that tree there on the very tippy top. Right. It's, a, yep. it's a great mood too. It's a good mood. Very nice feetsies. <laughs> nice, yeah, good framing. <laughs> great composition too. Excellent yep. composition. So is that the that's the sun or the moon? Yes. <laughs> I mean, because I, I like the cloud in front of it, though, and then it gives it that kind of wavy, moody effect. So it's really nice like that. I think that's the sun setting. It's the sun setting. I'll give it a second. Oh, wait, isn't it? Did we already miss the moon, the blood moon? Or I think it was a pink moon. Yeah, yeah it was. It was uh, Did you say it was tomorrow or tonight, tonight. Tonight. Last night. Last night. It was last night. It was last night. Okay. It's tonight. Trust me. Yeah, I heard it. Was well, I've already seen pictures posted from yesterday. They said <laughs> it's going to last about three days. Very good. We have an eight. Thank you, Jim. We have an eight. Nice. And I like, I like that you shared that this was on film and you scanned it. I, I don't know if everybody heard that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm stopping the share. That was an eight. I'm moving on to the next photo. <gasps> Yay. The, oh, the maker wow. of this Never photo ending is not stairwell. present. The maker what? The maker of this photo is not present. Well, I like shooting these stairwells. I have to say it's not as easy as the picture might look. Yeah. It's difficult, the centering, the, um, uh, I've learned to shoot them with um, people also gives it a whole different effect. And I really like this picture. I want you to take a look at what I'm going to do this picture because the maker's not here. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> it's Escher I, I don't like the emergency light. Bam. Emergency um, light? Yeah, it was on the corner there. Oh, yeah. Jake. No, 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 no. no, but, no. Way it was. I like the, the banisters. I like seeing the, the, the railing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it takes away from the picture. Yeah, you, yeah. It, it looks more complete. All right, all right. I'm not saying that this had to be done. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you. Fine. Maybe Just someone should undo it, damn it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe it, black and white while you're yeah. doing so. So, so it's, oh yeah, different. black and white. So when a person doesn't show, we actually get some time back. Next photo. Ooh. Oh, uh, Jay, oh, wow. on that, Jay, on the uh, last photo. I don't score photos if the person's not here. I'm sorry, I just don't do it. This is church. On the uh, on the last photo with the emergency lights. Yes. Um, in street photography, a lot of times we uh, say uh, um, you got to move your feet. <laughs> so I'm thinking he could have gone down one flight of stairs and taken uh, a shot without those yeah. lights. Okay. That, light that's a good technique. Thanks for that. Yeah, okay. we can do that. That's really good. Now, we can all wish Leonid a happy birthday, and that's why he's not here tonight. Oh. And he did want you to see his photo. I'm not going to score the photo because I can't have favoritism I come back and haunt me. And, uh, but this is the cake me. they're having right now, right? Yeah, please enjoy this. How many up. candles? Way <laughs> too many. They're going to call the fire department. Very well wow. done. Very well, nice. Next photo is? Beautiful. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Linda, are you here to speak of it? I think so. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, first time speaking in Zoom, I already told Jay, so. <laughs> um, this is part of my son's band. Um, Which one's your son? Ah, who do you think? In the foreground. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bass player. Um, I'm sorry? The bass player. Yes, yes, Fender. <laughs> Um, so I wrote a little thing, but um, welcome to my world of classic rock. This photo was taken at the famous Viper Room 
on the Sunset Strip. My son, Justin, is the bassist of Love in a 38 and The Pride. I always try to capture this moment of Justin and his singer, Ryan. They call it bromancing. Um, <laughs> and it happens the majority of the time, uh, no matter where they play. So it's become a thing over the last six years. Um, I use a Canon ADD and a Sigma. I'm sorry. Linda, you keep talking. Okay. Uh, Sigma 18 to 35. Um, the lighting is always a challenge here at the Viper Room, but I love it. Um, sometimes you'll just get a black stage with no lighting. Uh, but in January, I guess it was January 2019, they installed a gorgeous setting, um, a whole new system of lighting. I've only been able to shoot that once. <laughs> and this is one of those photos. So thank you. Awesome so, photo and, and, and you're a great speaker and I love the New York accent. <laughs> hey, uh, Linda. I'm going Linda. back in two weeks, yes. Uh, Linda, with your uh, Canon, do you ever have problems with red light? When I've, uh, when I've shot music uh, with poor stage lighting, uh, sometimes the red light comes out like the people's faces are on fire. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha have you had that you problem? I'm sorry, <clears throat> go ahead. Have you had that problem? Of course, <laughs> it's always red faces <laughs> and I'm like, oh, forget this. <laughs> so that's when you turn it black and white and you're fine. Yeah, that's what I do. But this one, this one turned out great. Thank you so much. Appreciate great enough to receive yeah, an eight. Nice. Great <laughs> enough to receive an eight. You're gonna are be in a cover band? Or... Oh my god! Are they, are they a cover <laughs> band or do they do originals? No originals. Um, Linda, before yes. I forget, send me in what you wrote, and I'll put that in the newsletter too. Oh, okay, terrific. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate all you folks. You. I appreciate you. Thanks. Linda, is that um, like speed okay. metal? What kind of me heavy metal? Uh, classic rock, Aerosmith type. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Pictures Thank called Crow, Crow Silhouette. Hi, Linda. Hi there, the other Linda. Um, oh, the other Linda. Oh, okay. <laughs> just remember oh, coming okay. home, I might have been grocery shopping. Did I have? Yeah, I guess that is my Nikon, my old Nikon. Um, and I loved uh, watching these two crows. I, I got lots of pictures of them. I, and this was, I think, the, the best one. I tried to take the part of this uh, street lamp out of it, but it did, didn't work as much. So I ended up putting part of it back in to kind of, I guess, balance it or something. But that's all I can think of. It's almost Alfred Hitchcock-ish, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. I love crows too. Yeah. yeah. I, I love, love the blue. I love the blue and the gray in the background. I love the feetsies on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put that in the newsletter, feetsies, and define it? It is at first when I looked at it the is pronounced feet sees. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> At first, I actually thought it was a uh, reflection you, 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 in the water you say, of the crow. You say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. <laughs> Never heard anyone say tomatoes. Nah. Neither have I. Tomatoes. You haven't been to uh, Missouri? Europe. <laughs> <laughs> we have the score now. Diana. We're going to share Europe. the results. And this photo received an eight. Thank you. This photo is going to be in a newsletter. And the next picture is night lights. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> is the maker here to talk? Yeah, he's, he's still around. Um, <laughs> this picture, um, this picture wow. was taken um, uh, when a group of us went uh, out to shoot um, the, you know, lights, obviously. And one of the people with us um, had a, is an engineer and had a bunch of 
uh, different kinds of lightsaber-ish sorts of lights that he was working with. And so this was a very long exposure and the person um, utilized their light wand to dance around in circles and uh, create this sort of an image. Um, so that's about all I have to say about it. It's, uh, it's extremely colorful. The, the light wands right. that he had would um, emit lights of different color and would change color as, as, uh, as he went around uh, <laughs> with it. So it uh, makes a very interesting image. It certainly does. I, I love yeah, the Did you bump up the saturation? Um, you know what? I might have a bit. I, I mean, don't remember great. actually. It, it really is. What is the building in the background that I'm seeing? That's that's a beautiful um, that's a beautiful it's, background. Yeah, it's, it's the pueblo that is yeah. uh, located um, by the by by Chatsworth Street and the and the freeway at 118 and oh, Sepulveda. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't remember what it. The what mission. The name of it is. Not a mission. Uh, something to read. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Pico Adobe, maybe. I, I, I don't remember exactly, but a person right. was uh, one of the volunteers there that got uh, us an opportunity to go meet there and uh, play with um, play with these lights. I'm going to end the polling. Night. When you say long result. exposure, um, nice okay. job there. Uh, nice how job long is long in, exposure? You're in the newsletter. Well, it's great. Um, I'm I'm gonna guess maybe eight seconds. You know, not, and that that just shows how how very accurate that person with the light wand is on their making their circles, right? I mean, it's they're all he like an engineer. Well, yeah. there's that. Yeah, <laughs> there is that. Wow, it's wow. fabulous. Yeah. Wow, this is right. Unbelievable. Evening shade. Lots of fun. Okay, well, I took this at quarter to 10 at night. Um, it's a uh, 30-second exposure, low ISO. And I took this picture because um, the, I have a photographer who mentored me, and this is a technique that he uses. And I was... Um, I wanted to emulate him, and this is what I got out of it, and I'm really pleased with it. Beautiful shot. Yeah. I love the composition. The tree is fabulous. <laughs> I, I like the light. Composition is great. The light in the houses, and um, oh, and I didn't have my tripod with me. I actually sat on the ground and held my camera between my knees. To shoot this. <laughs> That's wow. neat. Ten That's plus. Neat. <laughs> That's, neat. That's neat. That's really neat. Oh, kudos. <laughs> and you can see like there's stars in the sky. Yeah. I think, right? Yep. Yep. You're seeing stars now. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. Um, I'm birds. This was Michael Jackson now. <laughs> A seven ripped off <laughs> lady in purple <laughs> take it in enjoy it we're not going to score it he was he's here left. he's left for the evening oh these wildlife photographers that go to the basin have to get up 4 30 in the morning yeah. these wonderful photos so thank you martin for sharing this with us the next photo is contemplating the buddha oh nice is our maker here he yeah might. i'm here good ready for you know uh, yeah, that's so, great thank you so this one and the other uh, photo that's very similar to it in the previous set were originally part of an exhibit, a local exhibit 
with what's called a Fillmore uh, theme. So the treatment of both photos were consistent with that uh, film noir look, which means uh. that the, the darkening of it, the high contrast is very consistent. It's, it's, uh, it's deliberate, it's intentional, and it was made to look that way to achieve that film noir look. Mm. <clears throat> so, um, these, these two uh, were shot in the evening. They, they were shot in Melrose, by the way. Um, and they are uh, high ISO uh, shots. It was shot with the same camera. Um, and the lens that I used for this is a telephoto lens, not a zoom. Um, it, it, I used the same lens for it. I think the first one was maybe two to 3,000 ISO. I, I, I forgot. Um, this one is uh, 2,800. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, it was already dark to begin with, but I used um, a, an, uh, a plugin called DxO. At that time, I was using that plugin. I don't use it anymore. And yeah. DxO is known for its um, film presets. And the particular film preset that I used for both <laughs> images was a Kodak Tri-X. I think it was uh, 400, yeah. Tri X four hundred. Beautiful it. story. Thank you for explaining that. It, it it great great insight to your photo. Very good. Wonderful technique. Mm. I like the story behind it. You know that uh, this woman is, and then Buddha is right there. You know, it almost is she praying. You know. Probably not, but you don't know. That's curious. What is, are, is that a necklace? Is she biting on the necklace? Something, right? Yeah. Or that might be just a smudgy I believe. I believe they're prayer beads, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think so. Eight, this photo received an eight. Thank you, Noel. Yeah, very moody, no. Really, that's really effective. I like the photo, Noel. It's a very great photo. Thank you. So yeah, uh, when you this see is a very style. dark, right. yeah. So when you see a very dark image, think film noir. <laughs> oh, you mean like this? Yes. Hello. This is called candlelight. Oh. No, you outdid yourself. Very nice. Uh, oh wow. Nora will have to unmute. Nora will have to unmute. There okay. we go. Um, this is uh, my first low key or low low light. I had to read about it, and um, I had to use my uh, tripod, which I I have issues with tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you fixed those issues. me very well. And um, my model was extremely patient, extremely patient with me. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm glad that you asked for low light because I've never done that. <laughs> Just, oh, you fooled me. Well, it's, this is so very excellent. It's amazing photo. Thank you. What I like that you did, Nora, is that if the forehead is darker and the focus is more on the cheeks, you got the light on the lower part of his face, mm -hmm. and yet his eyes, his, the whites of his eyes are nice contrast. Uh, and the other thing that it well, draws me to, the candle. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the candle. Uh -huh. And then down, you caught the stitching. I just, my eyes were drawn yeah. immediately to the And a couple of seconds eyes. later, it caught fire. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like magical, magic man, you know? There's something about that. There's the such next, fine next, detail in low next, light. Who knew, right? It's beautiful, Nora. I'm totally impressed. That's excellent. And Nora, you don't have to do another low light again. No, oh, you should, Nora. Yeah, Get you good. I mean, you're excellent. Don't you listen to me. It is excellent. You Great absolutely point. nailed it. Great model. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with them. I give you. Uh, uh, I give you ten. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very it's, nice to receive a nine in your person. Yes. Oh, first oh, wow. Awesome. Woo! 
is great photo. Excellent. Oh my God, a great photo. Came out that six. Just saying. <laughs> Grip over here. Oh, wow. nice. <gasps> oh, skips. So, I like to shoot peers. Can you guys hear me? I had yes. to change audio during uh, the break. Um, and this is Scripps Pier in San Diego, or La oh, Boya, wow. actually. Um, I think there are like, according to Wikipedia, 34 piers in California. I've shot about 20 so far, and my goal is to shoot all of them. Um, and this was, I, I, I got the... I got clarification from Jay on the low light too. And yes, it was it was a morning and low light. Um, it was gray and um, ugly. And as you see the result on the left, uh, I don't know if you can see there's dust spot city there. And, um, but raw, if you don't shoot in raw, you need to because you can see the difference. You can see what you can do uh, with raw. Because as we already discussed, you know, uh, we fix them in post, you know, because the one on the left obviously sucks, but I, I went in, I, um, I cropped it. So I get the two pilings, um, you know, to kind of frame it. And then um, I, it al allowed me to get the rushing water to, I think this is about a uh, three second or second and a half exposure. I'm not sure why the uh, info is not up there. But, um, you know, then I went in and I, uh, other things I did was I cleaned up all the spots, first of all. Um, and I don't think you can see them here, but I actually sent Jay the wrong, wrong photo. And there are some, some spots down in the water someplace. So my bad on that. But um, um, I made like, exposure and set uh, shadows ex, ex, um, adjustments on this. And then I took it into a plugin called Color Effects Pro, which is in the Nick collection, which I think Jay had sent that out. Um, it's a free, um, it's a free plugin package that you can get. And if you don't have it, um, get it tonight, right after the meeting, seriously, it's great. You know, I can't say enough about it, and though I don't, I'm not getting paid to say that either. So, it's a game changer. But uh, yeah, can you so. restate the plugin? And is it for Lightroom or one of those? Um, well, Photoshop yeah, Lightroom. it's for Lightroom, Photoshop. Um, I actually first had it with. I don't know if anybody who shoots Nikon remembers Nikon's uh, NX. Uh, Capture NX2, but I think we even used it with that. And I think it was made by Nikon at uh, in the beginning, but then they sold it to, I, I believe, Google. And yeah, it's called Nick, N-I-K collection. Um, and then it has inside the Nick collection are like six different plugins. You have one for black and white. You have a few for color. You have a sharpening um you have a sharpening you have uh noise reduction you know it's, it's a lot like um topaz you know but it all comes in one little um collection it's all free so, rich the uh all free? nikon the nikon program capture nx d completely revamped by nikon and free yeah, I, I had read about that, but I've been using Lightroom now for so long. I used I Nikon Capture NX2 when it, when I got my first Nikon camera, and I loved it. No, and I, I was so yeah. bummed when they stopped supporting it. So then I got Lightroom, and and I appreciate that. <laughs> but just just to have it on your computer for the yeah, no, journey, no. it's I it's had forgotten baby, about that. It's, it's widely supported. What so are they calling it now? Capture the one. nine for your photo. Yay. Thanks. Jay. What, what? And the reason your camera info did not show up is because, if you recall, I asked that I can set those photos up horizontally so people can see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for doing that. I didn't even think you would. That was very cool. You're very welcome. 
you could thank Bill too. He taught me how to use iFriend View to create such a photo. Awesome. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Hey, Jay. Yes. I just wanted to share that there are a lot of Canon users out here, not just Nikon users. I'm just saying, with love. Well, I can't help it if Canon doesn't bring it to the table for you. Nikon cares about us. They're going out of business sooner anyways. Hey, I'm a Sony person, man. I'm Sony. Yeah, but Nikon, Sony Nikon's, Nikon's having a really Sony difficult person. time. Yeah. Also. What, what kind of Sony camera do you have? I got to know. I have an A6300. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. It seems to be, it, it helps me a lot. So mm. it's the only camera I have that's any good. So. I, we can carry on. I just want to make sure that uh, I thank everybody for their participation tonight. We peaked at 32 connections. We have 27. This was a rather long meeting, but it seems like we can expect them all to run two and a half hours. I really appreciate that you're here and enjoying what, what we're able to do as, as, a, as a team, as a family. And uh, look forward to the next up. newsletter and seeing your entries. What's next on our agenda? Good question. Let me end the recording. Everybody wave goodbye to the YouTube audience. So long, Bye. farewell, Avita Zane. <laughs> Slap happy. Thank you. Stop.